So whilst the session has ended for the day, I didn't get to capture this trade opening on stream. And that was because I was outside and away from the desk. But we opened a long position in AO World. We bought 914 shares at 383.5 pence per share. The close was at 394.5 pence per share. So pre-fees were up about 100 pounds. After fees around eighty pounds, nothing too special, quite an illiquid stock in general. But we've seen a break of a recent base, and this is what I assume the fundamental picture leads to a test of recent highs, which are all time highs and new highs and beyond. It's interesting they've got employee options at nine pounds eighty, so there's some incentive to get these shares rising, I assume, within the company. And fundamentally, the reason why I wasn't buying these guys in the previous streams was because they were in a really tough spot in terms of cash. They went from loss making to actually turning a profit and also being cash generative to the sum of about $80 million. The profit was about 18 million, nothing huge for the first half, still decent money. That to me got my interest and I was ready to buy when everything was in our favor, not just the fundamental situation, which had turned recently, but the momentum side. So you can see we bought on an important change or shift in a momentum in this situation. And we managed to get what 10 pence per share just on the day alone. And we can hold this for a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. We'll see how this goes. We have about 3,500 pounds worth of sizing. If we look here, 914 times £3.94.5, that kind of thing. So it's nice. We'd like to keep this position for a while. We're glad that we finally got these guys. Unfortunately, though, I did want them around the 300s a while back. We didn't see that. Now there is a clear sign of strength. And that's why we are holding these shares for as long as this trend maintains. So it could be much higher when we sell up could be lower we shall have to see but nonetheless we're up so that's about two minutes 30 of a little bit of background these guys are worth about 1.8 billion i believe and you kind of have a throwback to such similar situations with okado which have some form of tech element have that momentum in their favor and have some forms of incentives to get the prices higher which in this case there is Employees can make hundreds of millions just off this going to £9.80. So five, six pounds is definitely feasible, I would say. And the company's making money. So that's nice. So we don't have a clear target at the moment. We expect recent all-time highs to be tested around 440 pence and broken. Around five pounds, six pounds, we'll start to figure out what is the smartest move. But our stop loss, I haven't put one in, but I am expecting to sell this out if it goes below 340, let's say. We have an invalidation, a clear invalidation. And if that does happen, we'll take the loss. We lose about 400 pounds. Quite a risky position, but we're looking to hold this for a lot longer than most normal positions. So we shall have to see how this works out and I will catch you all soon. And also thank you to anybody who helped out in the Homeless Appeal fundraiser. We raised 550 plus 15 from elsewhere, 565 pounds for those folks who are sleeping rough in our local area, which we are all thankful for. And it's great that we can do something as a community together. So I've been a little bit busy trying to get the things for that organized and haven't been streaming or making videos or trades on this account. But this is a fresh one and we are back. And we'll see how this progresses. But until then, well, I'll, uh, I'll leave the wait to last a couple of seconds. And I will catch you all soon. Okay, so we're giving a little update. We expected a breakout today when the index was doing very poorly. We expected AO to, to start breaking higher than it. it was 4.15 on Friday when we closed last week. And... We expected it to test highs of 4.30 and beyond and just hold it maybe up our stop. Well, here's what actually happened. If we pull up the chart, 
we opened at around where we closed and boom straight down to 384 or now I think the lows and it's trying every minute it tries it seems to be getting battered lower and whilst we're not exactly certain of whether the trend is intact in this respect we like the financial side of things I really disagree with most analyst forecasts out there and even the ones increasing I feel like they're not realistic enough because this is a fundamentally different company to what it was for the past four or five years or so. In the fact that they're actually making money, that's a really important thing to consider. But nonetheless, in terms of their share price action, I think it's fair to stick to our disciplines. Our stop when we opened was around 340, but now that we've had some room for a development in the price higher, we entered at 383.5, so we could still lose money. And we were making a decent amount, I think 270 pounds at highs or something. But uh, we're hoping to catch this bigger move. Now it might take a lot more time than we thought, but it's fine. In terms of fundamentals, we can sleep on these guys. But here's the situation, right? If we are gonna get cut out and the move breaks down, we've put our stop, you can see it's trying. They're trying to break below where we need it above for the end of the day. If it does break there, which it could do, if we're not really positive by the end of the day, that's probably what's next to these guys. If we do, say the index drags it down, which we thought there was no correlation, we still believe it's just an interim thing. It's just trying to retrace a little bit, maintain trend, and then go back up. We put our stop at 357.5. So that's relatively wide below the level where I think worst case scenario is about 364 or so. This is kind of range. If they really want to get out people's stops well there's no they because this is an automated exchange but if the stops are really going to get cut out in this case then 364 to 370 for a literally a minute could be hit and then reverse so we don't want to get cut out on that kind of thing so we put our stop to 357.5 and i think we're going to probably end the session we're also live right now we were looking at a couple of factors with respect to this trade or investment depending on how things progress over the next couple of days. If we're still in, it might ideally be that. And of course, the market has been a huge bloodbath. This is when the UK has announced basically a third lockdown. Most major cities have had tier, th tier four, which means you close down restaurants. They can only do delivery. Non-essential stores are closed kind of thing. Cineworld, for example, has broken down from like a static point where it was trading at Rolls-Royce battered, tested an important point of support held, but probably could try and break down again. We were trying to short Royal Mail on the last stream. We did, we didn't get in eventually. It was 324. We thought, you know, if we are getting back in, we'll try 330. That's not going to happen now. And we believe it's going straight to around 304, 307, and if not really lower towards around 290s, maybe even high 280s kind of thing. But in the meantime, we hold AO, and if it goes high up, we're holding for the breakout of potentially new all-time highs or maybe a test of previous all-time highs, which were us only a little bit higher. Really, you need one big day kind of thing. But below 360, adjusted for spread 364, below that, 357.5 will be out if that happens, and we'll lose probably about 270 pounds or so. Let's hope that doesn't happen because we were having such a nice week, but we shall see. I'll be back soon to update you. And this whole video will be one anyway, so we'll be filmed over maybe a couple of days, weeks, months. Let's see how this plays out. I'll catch you guys soon. Well, I just closed the AO World position at 404, not ideal. I just reevaluated the position and realized that I'm risking potentially 20 more points just for really sticking in the same length of time that I would be in. You know, holding from 426 range to uh, 3, I'd say, 80 or something at the current moment. I just, maybe even 370. It doesn't make sense. And going through it in my head, I sat and I thought, okay, yep, I'm going to close this 
We netted 180 after fees. Not great, considering the risk we'd taken. It's probably half VR, I believe. Where I can work that out is put my size in the calculator, times it by how much I would have sold on stop three. Yeah. Uh, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. But we are out for now. I kind of would like to get back into these guys, but the way the market's rotated a little bit eases towards a bit of a correction. And our main setup on daily is coming to an end unless it retests lower. And if it does retest lower, then we're going to buy some shares. And we might get the difference of the 20 pence per share, which is roughly another 200 pounds. And that's what we made on this trade. So let's make our money, lock in the gains, and play the game again. So yeah, this has been a position we've held for a while. So it wasn't easy money in a short amount of time. You have to get in, get out. This is how you play the game, I guess. But nonetheless, apologies for the boxes behind me. Those are what we've been able to purchase with the proceeds of the fundraiser, which I'm grateful to many people in the community that helped us with. The fundraiser for folks sleeping rough in our local community. Can't wait to, to start distributing. I'm going to have to spend the rest of the day packing, though. So in the meantime, yep, we've closed AO. You can see we entered at three pounds, well, 383.5 pence per share. We closed at 405.5 pence per share. Not an ideal price, but the intraday setups evaluated the daily one, in, invalidated rather, goodness me. And the daily setup is starting to invalidate, which means even if it doesn't invalidate, we can get a cheap entry. So I'll catch you guys some other time, but thank you for tuning in. This probably will be a longer set of trades on AO, but we're keeping, we're keeping patient. Catch you all soon.